Welcome back to Mr Scott Maths. In this video we're going to look at multiplying decimals by whole numbers. Now multiplying by decimals seems like it should be more difficult than multiplying just whole numbers together. However we can make this question a little bit easier by turning any decimal number into a whole number before we do any multiplication. So I'm going to turn 0 0.6 into a whole number by multiplying it by 10. If I multiply 0 0.6 by 10 that gives me 6 multiplied by 3 and 6 multiplied by 3 is 18. Now this isn't our final answer because to get to our final answer we need to undo that multiplying by 10 step. We need to divide by 10. So I'm going to divide this 18 by 10 and that's going to give me 1.8. So my answer to 0 0.6 times by 3 is 1.8. If we take a look at another example, 0 0.7 times by 8, again we can turn our numbers into whole numbers by multiplying this 0 0.7 by 10. If we multiply that by 10, that becomes 7, and our new calculation is 7 times 8. Now 7 times 8 is 56. And again, this isn't our final answer because we need to undo that multiplying by 10 step and divide by 10. And if we divide 56 by 10, that gives us a final answer of 5.6. If we look at one last example, 0 0.08 times by 4, this time we'll see that we've got two decimal places in this first number. But again, we can still turn it into a whole number, but this time we just need to multiply it by 100. And if we multiply this by 100, it gives us 8. So our new question is 8 multiplied by 4. Well, 8 times 4 is 32. But again, this isn't our final answer because we need to undo this multiplying by 100. So instead of dividing back by 10, we're now going to divide back by this 100. And if we divide by 100, that's going to give us a final answer of 0 0.32.